come on, JT, let's go to the bone zone. <laughs> JT is Justin Timberlake, by the Thank way. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks. Just now your friend, JT? My friend, JT, who I met at The Gap. <laughs> Hey! Hey, all right. Woo! Woo! Look at you. You put on a party hat. Yeah. I dressed up for this. Is that how you dress for every birthday? Yes. Every 10th birthday, I, I show up in a tux. That's how I do it. Happy birthday, web series. Happy birthday, web series. I'm going to confess something. When we did episode number one, I did not think there really would be an episode 10. I know we joked about 32 episodes, but I thought it was a joke. So 10 is a surprise. Wow. Way to think positive. What, what did you think would have happened? Where would we have gone off the rails? I thought that one of us or both of us would have lost interest by now. Oh, okay. I'm imagining that that will happen during one of the episodes. Like, we'll suddenly one of us will be like, kind of deflate have a revelatory moment. Maybe it'll be during this episode. Yeah. I don't want to do this anymore. I don't want to do any of this anymore ever again. Was that it? That was it. That was the moment. Jesus. I feel sad for our tens of fans that would be disappointed at the end of web series, but uh, they'll get over it. They'll get over it. They'll find something new. We should tell people that we have decided to do a gift exchange. Today. We have. We have. We actually met up in person, kept everything socially distant, appropriate. Which one of us was wearing a mask and which one of us wasn't wearing a mask? You were wearing a mask on the outside. <laughs> I was wearing one on the inside, as always. But yes, we've exchanged gifts, and the idea is we're going to open them now. Yes! Live on camera. We don't know what, what we've given each other. It's, it's sort of like gift of the magi. What if you gave me combs and I had cut off all my hair? We'll see. Maybe one of these gifts is combs. What a underwhelming gift that would be. I have yours. Oh! Pretty large. It's kind of heavy. It's wrapped. Looks like somebody went the extra mile for you. Is there anything I need to know before I open this thing? You might want to get a tissue. You might get emotional. I got some paper towels right here. I got a bounty thick pack. Whoa! It's a box from Amazon. Yeah. Out of tape. You go to the Pam Wolanski School of Gift Wrapping, I see. A secure box is the first part of a gift that says, I love you. Oh, oh no. Oh, there are more gifts. Number one, number two, <laughs> number three, number four. What the fuck? There are 10 gifts? 10 gifts for 10 episodes. Oh my gosh. Wait, wait, what are you opening first? Number one? Yeah, yeah, that's what you should do. Number one. Please, please be underwear. Oh, the John Kavakovich, your sandwich in a bag. That's a peanut butter and white bread sandwich. When did you make this? It doesn't... Yesterday. It's been sitting in that box at least 24 hours. I'm not sure I would eat it, but it's peanut butter, shelf stable. That's number one, because in the early episodes, we talked about sandwiches. And that theme, arguably, was America's favorite so far. Each one of these is going to be a trip down memory lane. Number two. Hey, hydrocortisone cream. That's for your eczema, because the eczema webcam. Oh, it's not as bad today, is it? I think a hydrocortisone mask would just be a good thing in general for you, John. I'll take it into consideration. I think I look pretty natural. Number three. Oh, Rub Daddy it's for better dishwashing. Because you're a terrible dishwasher. Who said that? Marco, everybody. She said I didn't know how to load the dishwasher. No. Well, that's the tip of the iceberg. Loading is one part of your deficiency, but it goes beyond that. Also, I feel like Scrub Daddy is something that you should be called. Number four. You know, I, I have quite a few dozen of these, but it never hurts to have one more. What's it say, John? John, at least 30% of the web series success is thanks to you. It's true. Or your wallet. How big a wallet do you think I carry, John? You need a bigger wallet if that won't fit. Maybe my fanny pack. Number five. Nutrice. Hair coloring. Crayon tips, baby. Crayon tips. We'll see how I look next episode. This is very touching. I'm getting about as emotional as my wife says I get. Number six. Oh, you did it. You beautiful man. A framed Photoshop job from the nostalgia episode. You said that was the one to frame, so. That was the one I framed. I know just the place to put this. 
Oh, wow. A bottle of Smirnoff for my jug. My desk jug right here. For your water jug. You brought that up in the work episode. I love it, and I will definitely be using this today. Number eight. Croutons. Thanks for your note on the back of it, too. Please stop eating leftover croutons off other people's plates. Did you get all of these gifts at the same one stop? No, I went to 10 different stores Did you? to buy your gifts. Yeah. Wow. Even if one store had two of them, I wanted to make it more of an effort. I actually went to 10 different Targets. They were all Targets, but I went to 10 different ones. Number nine. Oh, uh, what's this? Tommy Bahama? For the vacation episode? Can I put this on right now? Please. I don't know if it'll fit. Oh, how is that? Wow. I have never felt more like a shower curtain. Number 10. Aluminum foil. 10 is the aluminum year. You get it. You get it. Durability. Pliability. What are the other? Crinkleability. Cheapness. Oh, John, you really... Well, look at all this shit. <laughs> exactly. You really outdid yourself. Should I alert the cashier at your neighborhood Target that a bunch of returns are coming in within the next couple of hours? Maybe. Thank you so much. Sure. I'm going to use it all tonight. I think it's your turn. Let me get your gift. I have it right here. I'm so excited. It's one box. There aren't other boxes in there. This is a brown box. On the top, it says Noe Valley Bakery. I'm opening it. Hold on here. I'm using my fingernails. I don't want to drop it. Oh, it's got a lot of tape on it. Mm -hmm. I'm going to open the lid. Here we go. It's a cake. It is. John, it says Good Ebb. Good ebb? Yeah. Good ebb? Good ebb. Oh, man. Never place a phone order with a bakery. You know, I've been battling congestion all week. They must have heard it as ebb. Eh, good ebb? Yeah, it says good ebb. Okay. All right. Damn it. It looks delicious. Yeah, great. I hope you enjoy it. It's vanilla on vanilla for your adventurous palate. Vanilla on vanilla sounds pretty good to this cat. I think our gifts really reflect the effort that each of us put into gift giving. In some ways, yes. In all of the ways. If you look at the shirt I'm wearing right now, it really does say max effort. Are there any memories from our first 10 apps that you want to talk about? One of the aspects of the show that, that people comment about, but you have not spoken a lot about, which is the theme song. Yes. It's the only thing my brother commented on. He was like, you guys are still doing that web series? Yeah. Wow, that theme song. <clears throat> so anyway, that's praise from my brother, those three words. How did you write that thing? That You wrote it, right? That's your voice that people hear. I have a little like music maker app on my phone. Four years ago, I made a little loop of some tunes and I saved it to my phone. And it's been sitting on my phone for four years. After we filmed the first episode, I thought it'd be sort of fun if we had a theme song. I looked through stuff and I found this and I'm like, yeah, I like that. Let's make that our theme song. So I literally put it into GarageBand and I sang the first thing that came into my brain. Just sang it one time and it's been our theme song ever since. You know, that's how Jay-Z does it too. Famously does not write the lyrics, just goes freestyle in the booth. There are some things about it that people will appreciate. I said your name first because I realize you are the more popular member of the duo. So I thought it would be a way to hook viewers in by saying John mm. Lomansky first. And then I bookended it by saying your name last. So you are <laughs> literally the bread inside the theme song sandwich. That's not the only way that I've been compared to bread before. You do have a DJ name too, right? Some of my coworkers have christened me DJ Dryheave. I said, wouldn't it be great if there was a professional DJ that had horrible acid reflux? <laughs> All right, Montreal. Oh, I don't feel so hot. <sighs> Pretty serious right now. I'm not 100%. Oh, this next track is, oh, God. Oh. All right, let's see everybody out on the dance. Oh. Oh. <laughs> the DJ Dry Heave is my DJ. DJ Dry Heave. You know, another of my favorite highlights is uh, 
in the fatherhood episode, I believe, where you recounted how often you hide from your family in the bathroom. What are you doing in there? I'm usually in there looking at my phone and just seeing how long I can hide in there before someone will miss me. Are you still playing Words with Friends? Oh, yeah. 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 Are you single-handedly keeping that app alive? I'm loyal, John. I stick with an app well past the time of its popularity. You are loyal. Yeah. (laughs) You spend time hiding from your family in the bathroom, too. Don't pin that all on me. Oh, yeah. I mean, when I'm hiding, I'm usually aggressively pooping, like when there's nothing there. Like, oh, come on! It's my sole focus. What's one of your favorite highlights? In preparation for this show, I re-watched our first episode. If you go back and watch it, we did it weeks before we even really thought we were going to put this out. There's very little editing. There's no close-ups or anything. It's very casual. And I sort of miss the casualness of that first episode. I do too. And maybe we should reinsert some of that casualness for the next set of episodes. One of the highlights of the experience is your love of data. Mm. You've been tracking the performance of the episodes installment to installment. How is the show doing? Well, first of all, the baseline metrics of viewership and engagement are through the roof. If you are not already on the web series train, you should get on that train right now because it is like a rocket train. So be on the rocket train. Can you share any of the web poll results? One of the more engaging aspects of the data analysis is to see how web polls go. And we do web polls mainly on our Instagram page. And a lot of them feature you, John Walansky. What we do is we give fans an opportunity to express their disgust of you in lots of different ways in the web pools. When you say we, it's you. I don't want to put too fine a point on it. I think our web staff, our social media community manager, takes care of that stuff. I'm not in the weeds on that. I haven't met that person. Who who is it? Her name is Barbara. (laughs) She's, she's lovely. Barbara is our web mistress. Web mistress. Don't you don't meet a lot of Barbaras. You don't. She's older. <laughs> I'm glad we have the right staff behind us, getting the word out via the street teams and the whatnot. Barbara's not young, John. <laughs> Barbara's old school is what you're telling me. Old, just period. Old period. School period. Yeah. We should talk about the future of web series. Okay. When? Right now, during the episode. (laughs) Great. We've been talking that maybe 10 is a nice round number to take a little break, a little hiatus. We've been producing something every week, which is exciting, Mm. but it feels like a time to maybe close volume one of web series and just let it be a thing for a while. Let people discover it. Yes. Let's close volume one. Let's wrap it out, but come back strong. Come back strong. Brief sabbatical. I mean, let's not define... You know, one person's brief is another person's couple of months or years. I don't think we should get into naming it. Let's just let fans appreciate what they've had, and then we'll see if there's a demand for more. If there's an outcry for more, we'll make more. Because you don't know what you got until it's gone, right? Yeah. Who said that? Maya Angelou? Maya Angelou. Wise. Fans, let us know what you think. What do you want? Is this the perfect ending of web series, or are you clamoring for more? Let us know in the comments. Barbara will moderate your comments and then print them out and send them to John and I. Print them out, send them in the mail to us. That's Barbara's MO. She prints out everything, makes a photocopy, and then mails us a hard copy. And then she files another copy for the archive. Well, the first 10 have been great. You've done a great job. You've been relatively easy to work with. I'm just going to dig in and take a little bite of this baby. Did you cut a piece? or? Oh. Hmm. That's good cake. Can you taste the potato? Wait, is there a potato in those? Is it a potato cake? (laughs) It's how Noe Valley Bakery does it. It's delicious. You know what I have to say? Good ebb. Good ebb. Good ebb. Good ebb. Come on, John. Dance into the credits. Here we go. I'm scared. This looks like a possessed shower curtain. The receipt's in the bottom of the box when you want to take a step back. <laughs> John Walensky and John Kavaka, the are making a web series, and this is the web series that they are making. The web series from John Kavaka, and John Walensky. Oh, come on! <laughs>